So I'd like to introduce to you young Tara. How old are you now, Tara? Seven. Seven. So Tara had um, a very high palate and no room for her incisors. When I went to authoring school, the way we would treat children this age, we'd say to mum, come back in high school when all the teeth were there. Obviously, there'd be no room for the eye teeth, and then we start extracting left, right, and center. The new approach in orthodontics is to actually work with young kids because the bone is soft, uh, they're growing quickly, and rather than pull teeth out to make room, we make the jaw the size it should be to accommodate the teeth. Right? So how have you coped with your expander? It's been about a month now. I got used to it at first. Uh-huh. Yeah, and... Um, when I turn it, 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 um, it was, um. It hurt a little bit, yeah. but you're used to it now. Who does the turning for you? Mum. Mum, okay, well, I'm gonna check if mum's doing a good job in a minute, right? I think she is, because I can see a little gap between your teeth. Would you agree? Now, don't worry about that gap. We're not gonna leave you like Madonna, right? We're gonna make, use that gap to get the side teeth and um, move them in the right position. Does that make sense? So mum, can I get you to come over and I can actually check how you're turning. So that's your key. What I'll do, I'll come around here so I can see how you engage that, all right? So you're doing one turn a day? One turn yeah. a day. Yeah, great, that's perfect. So can I get you, not to turn it, but just actually fit it so I can see if it's sure. fitting properly? Yeah. Thank you. They told me to put it on the right hand side, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Any, anywhere uh, on that uh, gear would be fine. Now it's only there that I'm Correct. putting it, but okay. it needs to be up so, higher. Yeah. yeah, so what you've done there, you've engaged it, but mm. because of the shape of her palate, mm. you've engaged it at the halfway point. Mm. So if we were to continue that turn, yes. just open up, I won't actually won't turn it, but mm. if we were to continue that turn, you'll see that it's only half the turn. Yeah. But if we now have another go and you turn it this way and engage, just to see, please. Oh, yeah. That's better. So you see how now you're closer to the teeth? Yeah. Just open nice and wide. So when you're that, then when I turn it fully, big, big, ah, 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 you get one full turn. That's perfect, sure. right? Mm -hmm. But you are turning it correctly um, at home because yeah. I can see, look at how nicely that tooth is already coming Definitely. through, right? You so, yeah, those two side teeth that had no room are already making the room. Mm -hmm. So at the next appointment, mm -hmm. I'm more than likely going to put four braces on, one, two, three, four, and connect it to the back. One of the reasons we use a molar tube uh, on our expanders is so that when I want to keep the expansion going and start the braces, I'm able to do two things at once. In the older days of orthodontics, we'd have a four month expansion period only, then we'd have to start the braces, which adds time to the whole treatment. When I see a case working so good like this, then I'm able to actually put four brackets on and still expand at the same time. So at the next visit, there'll be one, two, three braces, here we may be able to get it on, but if not, I will tie it lightly to the main wire. Okay. And then I'm going to um, go through it. But until we see for that, just keep turning exactly as you have been. Let's talk about the gauge. What they were talking about on the right size is an actual gauge, mm -hmm. right? One line represents two millimetres. Okay. In her case, I want eight millimetres of expansion. So I want you to stop at the fourth line. So just so we're clear, you can see that you only have like one and a half lines at the moment. Uh, okay, does that make sense? Yeah, which is right on there. Right on there, exactly. Okay. Yeah. When you see the fourth line, just in case, mm. stop. Okay. I'm probably going to see you before that, yeah. but I always say to parents, we don't want to overexpand, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, everything's going really well. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Just so smile again, yeah. big smile. Yeah, that lateral's already rotated, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Quite right, together, yeah. Uh, open nice and wide. Big, big up. Your, your, your brushing, right, is pretty good, right? But I can see you're, you're struggling under the wire, right? Now remember with your gums how we're worried about them growing anyway, yeah? I really want you to, be, to spend a lot more time with the little brush under. You, you know what I'm talking about? The pick stuff? Yeah, the little. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Um, does she have an irrigator or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. So there's actually little picks to one in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How, how often is she using she that? Does it twice a day. Okay. Yeah, okay. She does the little brushes and she puts the water and she Yeah. Good. Yeah. I think just she, doing all this right, just just here, 
See how that gum's getting a little yeah. bit on the swollen side? I just think she's just spent a little bit more time there, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, definitely. Open again, for me, big, big R. Now, I'm just going to check the end of the wire, make sure it's not sharp. Anything, like if I do that, is that rubbing against your cheek at all? It was at the yep. start, but not anymore. Not anymore? Okay. Yeah. Yes, good, isn't it? Of the stops on the 1-1, one, one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Just chin up here. The colours are still on the... Uh, yeah, there's, I noticed a few, a few brackets with all that. I couldn't believe it the other day. Yeah. I had one come out okay. six weeks, so I was usually a four fair away. Here we are. So, how are you going with your braces, Chloe? Um, they're not hurting at all and they feel fine now. Fantastic. Yeah. Have you noticed any movement? Your teeth straightening up? Yeah, just these two. Great. Great, because yeah. um, I noticed when I first put the braces on, that tooth on the side was coming in, wasn't it? Yeah. It's coming forward really well. I'm happy with yeah. that. So what I'm going to do today is kind of have a look in your mouth to see how the teeth are going. Um, I want to make sure the wire is uh, moving around properly, and then maybe we might take the wire out for you just so you can floss properly and clean your teeth, um, and then we put the same wire back in, because this wire is a magic wire. Uh, remember we talked to you about how it works. This is not, obviously not your wire, but this will be the next wire we put in. Your current wire is a round wire. This, can you see how it's square? Yep. Yeah. But what we're going to do, we're going to pretend this has just come out of the fridge and we're going to spray it with this cold spray. Is this cold, cold ice, ice spray? So it makes it like spaghetti. Can you see that? Right? It bends like this. Then, when we put it in your mouth, and let's just say I put it between my hands, because that like warms it up, like it's like in your mouth, then what it actually does, it returns back it's like a magic trick. It returns back to its ideal form. Does that make sense? And that ideal form is what we want your teeth to look like. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. Do you notice on your wire you've got um, a little bump on it, on the front tooth? Yeah. yeah. That's because this wire works so quickly, if we don't have that bump there, it can slide this way, it can slide that way, and it can fall out of your mouth. You see? Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is check that little stop, make sure it's in place, make sure you're brushing properly, all that sort of thing. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, open nice and wide again. Bite together, good, and open again, bite together, great. So you're doing a really good job with your brushing, I'm happy with that. Just in this area, where the second tooth is from the middle, I think you can spend a little bit more time brushing. You know, you've got those little brushes, they're called picksters. Yeah. Yeah? Um, what I want you to do, and I'll just show you, can you get a mirror? Mm -hmm. right. You're going to hold a mirror, and I'm just going to show you where I want you to brush a little bit better. Right. Can you see there? Yeah. Okay. See how nice the gum is here? and you're cleaning it real. Can you see how the gum is kind of growing in there a little bit? Mm -hmm. There's two reasons for that. One is that was the hardest tooth anyway. Remember that was the one that was stuck? But secondly, um, because it's moving so quickly, that gum is um, moving with the tooth. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is spend a bit of extra time. See what I'm doing there? I'm massaging the gum. Do you see that? Right? So if you do that around that tooth here and here, and then like this, can you see? Right? I'm actually brushing the gum, not the tooth. So if you massage that gum and you do this every day, then that gum will start to shrink and the tooth's going to move quicker. Does that kind of make sense? That's really the only thing. Right? Now, do you understand what these are here, that little stop there and there? No. No? Okay. That is so that the wire, as it straightens the tooth, is not going to come out. Right? So I'm going to just check if that is okay. Yep. Fine. And open nice and wide. Now, wire poking anywhere? No. No, all right. So I'm going to leave this same wire in because remember, it's that magic wire that keeps moving things. Yeah. Next time I see you, we'll probably change this to the thicker wire. And if things have moved really well on that tooth, bite together, we might take an impression off your lower jaw so we can start making those lower braces up for you. Okay. So the only thing I would say, can you just keep brushing really well around that uh, one tooth? That would help things a lot. Okay. okay, good girl. Thank you very much for coming in today.